first thing which I want to talk about in calendar, it's about the number of years. So if I divide number of years on the basis of days, so they can be divided in two parts, ordinary year and leap year. So what is an ordinary year? You would say, sir, in an ordinary year, the number of days are 365, while in a leap year, the number of days are 366. So if I try representing these number of days in the form of week, in both the cases. Now, in order to convert number of days in the form of week, what we do, we divide number of days by 7. Because I want to find out how many groups of 7. 7, 5, 35, 7, 2, 14, you'll get a remainder of 1. So if I ask you how many groups of 7, you would say 52. So can I write down 365 as 52 weeks? And you can see a remainder. This remainder is nothing but an odd day. One odd day simply means an extra day. It has nothing to do with odd or even number. Likewise, if you try converting 366 days in the form of week, the only difference would be the weeks are going to be same, but the number of extra days or odd days are going to be two. That's the only difference. Now, this odd days is very important, very crucial for the calculation of calendar. You realize why when I discuss few questions with you. But before that, let me discuss an example. If I tell you that 28th March of 2012 was Tuesday. And now, keeping this as reference, if I ask you to find the day on 28th March 2015. So, how would you answer this? You would say, sir, very easy. If I go one year forward from 2012, you would say, sir, the year is going to be 2013. And if you look at this year, the year which I have just passed, it's an ordinary year. It's not a leap year. I know many of you must be confused, but sir, the year which we have passed, it's 2012. So why you are not saying it's a leap year? Because you have to check whether 29th Feb, this particular date is coming in between the calculation or not. 2012 is a leap year because of one reason. And the reason is that 29th Feb 2012 is an extra day. Aata hai. But when I'm going from 28th March 2012 to 28th March 2013, since 29th Feb 2012 will not be the part of my calculation, therefore, this year will not be considered as a leap year. It will be considered as a simple year, an ordinary year. And in an ordinary year, the number of odd days is only one. And therefore, you will just add one odd day. Adding one odd day means going ahead by one day. So, the day is going to be Wednesday. Likewise, if I ask you to calculate, find the day on 28th March 2014, this time there is no confusion from 2013 to 2014. Again, add one odd day and you will get the answer Thursday. But I want to find the day on this particular date. So for this, again, I'll go one year ahead. Again, it's an ordinary year. So add one odd day and the answer of your question is going to be Friday. So I hope through this example, you were able to understand the importance of odd days. Now, if you are someone who is thinking, sir, why we are not adding these 52 weeks? Because if I add one week, two week, three week, or any number of weeks for that matter, it will not change anything. The day is going to be same. Because if you think about weeks, what are weeks? Weeks are just continuous loop. After every seven days, the days are going to be repeated. If you add seven on Monday, again, we'll reach to seven only. For that matter, if you add 52 weeks, it will not change anything. The day would be same. And that is why we don't add the week number. We only add the number of odd days. I hope you were able to understand. Now, let's discuss one more example. It will give you some more confidence. So, if I tell you 26th January of 1984 was Tuesday. And you have to find the day on 26th Jan 1996. So how would you do this calculation? So please realize you don't have to perform the calculation by doing it year on year basis. In fact, you can directly find out the time difference from 1984 to 1996. As the date is same, I'll simply check the time difference 1984 and 1996. How many years are in between? You would say, sir, these are 12 years. 
Now, the only thing which you have to realize that out of 12 years, how many are lead and how many of them are ordinary? So, look at 1984. Is 1984 a leap year? Think about it. Yes, 1984 is a leap year. Why? Because if you look at 1984, 1984 is completely divisible by 4. And therefore, I would say, okay, it's a leap year. Now, you don't have to divide a year completely by 4. Use divisibility rule. Now, divisibility rule of 4 says, simply try dividing the last two digits. See, 84 is divisible by 4 or not? You would say, yes, sir, it's completely divisible. It means the complete number will also be divisible by 4. And since 1984 is divisible by 4, I would say it's a leap year. Also, please confirm whether 29th Feb of 1984 would be the part of calculation or not. Yes, it will be the part of calculation. Therefore, I'll consider 1984 as leap year. Okay, after 1984, the next year, since leap years come after every four years, so the next leap year is going to be 1988. Then you would say, sir, 1992 and then 1996. Now, the important question is, see, 1988 and 1992, no question. But if I look at 1996, yes, 1996 is a leap year. Why I'm saying it's a leap year? Because again, if you look at the last two digits, look at 96 is the last digit. And when you try dividing 96 by 4, Again, it is divisible by 4. It means 1996 is a leap year. But what you have to check? You have to check whether 29th Feb 1996 is the part of my calculation or not. No, it will not come. And therefore, how many leap years are in between? You would say 1, 2 and 3. Although 1996 is a leap year, but the date is not coming in between. Therefore, I will not consider 1996 as a leap year. I hope you were able to understand this. So, how many leap years are in coming in between? You would say, sir, out of 12, there are 3 leap years. It means the remaining number of years are 9. So, before I move forward, let me remove the unnecessary data. So, how many leap years? You would say, sir, 3 leap years. And the remaining are ordinary years. You already know in a leap year, the number of odd days are 2. So, in these 3 leap years, the number of odd days is 6. Likewise, in an ordinary year, Number of odd days is 1. So, in 9 years, these are going to be 9. Simply add the 2. How many total number of odd days? I'm getting the answer is 15. Now, another important thing which I want you to realize, if I'm getting the answer of number of odd days more than 7, then divide the answer again by 7. You know why? Because if I divide a number by 7, the answer of remainder can never be more than 7. It should be in this range from 0 to 6. But since I'm getting an answer more than 7, so I'll divide 15 again by 7 to get the value of remainder. If I divide 15 by 7, the answer of remainder would be 1. So how many number of odd days I need to add? Only 1. It means if I want to go from 26th Gen 1984 to 26th Gen 1996, all I need to do is I have to add 1 odd day. So simply add 1 odd day on Tuesday. Now, adding one odd day means you have to just go to the next day. Tuesday, next day is going to be Wednesday. So, Wednesday is going to be the answer of my question. So, I hope you were able to understand this calculation. After understanding this, we are ready to solve the first type of problem, which are called as reference-based problem. So, in this type, a reference will be given to you as in this question. It says, 6th March 2005 is Monday and we have to find the day of week on 6th March of a past year of 2003. So, if I have to go from 2005 to 2003, since the date is same, all I need to do is I have to go back by 2 years. Now, just realize how many leap years. Now, it's a nothing question. If I go from, okay, if you're not comfortable in going from 2005 to 2003, think in this direction. If I go from 2003 to 2005 in this particular direction, by how many years we are going forward? We are going forward by two years. Out of these two years, how many of them are leap? Only one, 2004. There is no question about it. So one leap year and one ordinary year. In a leap year, the number of odd days are two. In a leap year, the number of odd days is one. Simply add, you will get the answer of number of odd days as three. Is it less than seven? Yes. So, it means if I have to go from this point to this point, I have to add 3 odd days. Since I am not aware about this particular day, so let me go the other way around. 
let me go in the downward direction so if i go in the downward direction all i need to do is i have to change the sign now minus three odd days means i have to go back by three odd days going in the backward direction now going back by three odd days means my reference is monday right now going back means i'll go in the backward direction but the number of days which i'm going to leave these are only going to be two so leave sunday and one more day and the third day is going to be my answer friday means the day must be friday if you're not comfortable in going in the backward direction backward means minus three means you have to go in the backward direction so what you could have done you could have used the complementary approach so if i ask you to add seven because in a week the total number of days are seven and if you remove this minus three from seven you get your answer in positive connotation so either go back by three days or you can move forward by four odd days so if i have to move forward by four odd days it means i have to leave three days in between what three days this time i'll move in the forward direction tuesday wednesday and thursday and the fourth day is going to be my answer friday and again you would realize that i'm getting the same answer so this is one amazing concept so this is one shortcut which you can use is complementary with respect to seven to get to your answer in an easy manner i hope you were able to understand this let me show you one more problem based on the same type let's read the problem first the 15th august 2012 is a thursday find the day of the week on 2nd october 2013 now this question is a little different from last one because here if you read the data carefully the date is 15th august 2012 so reference is given for 15th august but if you look at the date for which i have to find the day it is different here so here we are going to learn something new so first let me write down the reference 15th august 2012 is thursday and we need to find out the day on 2nd october 2013 let us do one thing let us first enter this year on the same date 15th august so let us find if 15th august 2012 was thursday what was the day on 15th august 2013 and finding out this is very easy see how many years only one year is it a leap year now many of you may say yes sir it's a leap year but if you think about it although 2012 is a leap year but since 29th feb 2012 will not be the part of my calculation therefore this particular time difference cannot be considered as a leap year it's an ordinary year in an ordinary year how many odd days you would say sir only one odd day and if i add one odd day i'll be able to find the day on 15th august 2013 but since i don't want to find this so why to do this irrelevant calculation uh, now from 15th august since i have entered 2013 i'll try to go from august to october i'm already at 15th august so if you think about the month of august in august there are total 31 days and out of 31 we are already standing on 15th so how many days are left you would say sir 16 days are left now if i ask you to convert 16 days in the form of week you already know how to convert any number of days in the form of week we'll divide it by 7 we'll say 7 to 14 yes and to get the answer of number of days you would say sir remainder is 2 so can i say adding 16 days is same as adding 2 odd days so here what i'm doing i'm just maintaining a table for odd days in a given month now if you go to the next month the next month is september in the month of september the number of days are again going to be 31 and if you divide any month which has 31 days you will always get a remainder of 3 so in a month which has 31 days the number of odd days will always be 3 so please remember it and now if i go to the next month which is october so please realize i don't want to jump the entire october month in fact i just want to reach on this date 2nd october so how many days two days since two is already less than seven the number of odd days is going to be two only now if you add the answer of number of odd days i'm talking about these numbers the answer comes out to be 3 to 5 5 to 7 uh okay i think i have made a mistake here uh, in the month of september the number of days are not 31 but 30 please correct it 
and if the number of days are 30 number of odd days are going to be 2 so if you add everything now you will get 6 6 as the answer of number of odd days it means if someone wants to go from 15th august 2013 to 2nd october 2013 he has to add how many odd days? 6 odd days. So from this point to this point, the number of odd days which one needs to add is 6. But since I have kept my reference as Thursday, so from Thursday to this point, how many odd days are in between? You would say sir 1 and 6, 7. And adding 7 odd days and adding 7 odd days is same as adding nothing because in a week there are 7 days and after every 7 days, a day repeats. So the day is going to be same. So the answer of my question would be Thursday only. So I hope through these two questions you were able to understand how to tackle type 1 problems where a reference would be given. In the next lecture we are going to look at type 2 problems where no reference would be given. So I hope you have enjoyed the session. If yes please like share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.